The final touches to any Astro image is saturation, final contrast adjustments, and perhaps maybe even brightness. And PixInsight's Curves Transformation Tool allows you to do just that to get your final image finished. Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography. And today we're gonna to be putting the final touches on our image using PixInsight's Curve Transformation. Now this adjusts everything from luminance to uh, contrast and saturation. And this is the final step to your image. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information. Now let's head on over and learn how to use PixInsight's Curve Transformation. To find Curves Transformation, what you're going to do is go to Process, All Processes, and then come down to Curves Transformation. And this right here is how you adjust your saturation. You can adjust things like your colors, your uh, luminance or brightness, and even your contrast. So I have IC1805 which in the previous video for multi-scale linear transformation, we had just sharpened this image. And now we're about to put the final touches on it. So what we're gonna do is open up a preview and we're gonna go and I, I usually like to start with either saturation or contrast. And the reason I would use contrast is if you take a look in the sky area, um, it's still a little bit bright. You know, it, th this all comes down to taste. This is how you want your image, your vision. And what we're going to do here is um, let's start with uh, contrast and see if we can darken up that sky. So this is your, um, your line. And what we're going to do is just grab it and just drag it down just a little bit. And you can already see a little bit goes a very, very long way. And then what we can do is up over here, boost the contrast of our target. Here's before and here's after. Before and after. And you don't want to go too much. I mean, you can really just blow this thing out. You know, you can... You can really, you know, do quite a bit with this. I, I like nice, subtle movements. Um, just nice and subtle and just make sure that I'm getting exactly what I'm looking for. So I like this. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. We'll just hit the little apply square over here to accept that. And this works just like... Um, histogram transformation or generalized hyperbolic stretch, you always want to reset. Otherwise, it's going to apply the same stretch that you just did. Now, if we come over to saturation, we can boost that up just a little bit and just play with it and get it to look exactly the way we want it. So we're going to go ahead and apply that and notice how it just tried to apply the same um, uh, stretch factor. Uh, here's what we just did and here's what it's trying to do. So always make sure you reset after you apply whatever you're trying to apply. See uh, how it looks if we do just a little bit more. I don't want to go too far with it. We'll just accept this just for demonstration's sake. And then the only other thing that I adjust in here is going to be this little icon right here. And this can really boost out your, uh, your oranges and reds and stuff like that. So, you know, this is something you want to be very careful on. Uh, this brings it down actually a little bit more subtle. So we're going to go ahead and accept that just the way it is. Uh, the other thing that I want to show you really quick is on luminance. You can actually boost uh, how bright 
your image is. Um, now, generally speaking, when you grab this upper part, that's going to focus on your target. The lower part is going to be your background. Um, but it just comes down to playing with it and seeing what you like. Uh, I'm actually going to leave my luminance the way it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and reset that. And uh, that's it. That's how you boost your contrast and your um, your saturation and different items like that. So I hope that you found that useful. Do me a favor, that channel icon that just popped up, hit that channel icon and subscribe. I don't want you to miss any valuable information. And then throw a comment in the comment section. What questions do you have? Did you learn anything new? Are you excited for the workflow videos? And then check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.